When is it not a good time for a crock pot recipe? Any time of the season. Absolutely. And today we're making a slow cooker. Creamy lemon chicken. So come, come on in. Hello friends, welcome back. And today we have a recipe that you are going to love. Yes, and I love a crock pot recipe. I do. It's easy, and who doesn't like to just dump it in that crock pot and let it go? Me! <laughs> So we're all about it. Hey, and if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. And don't forget to hit that like button if you like these recipes. And subscribe to our channel. Because yes. we have recipes every single week. And we hope you'll stay with us and join our kitchen because we have fun here. So anyway, we're going to get... Do we ever. <laughs> Do we ever. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Okay. And a lot of people say, uh, you know, a lot of times they'll say on the comments... Are y'all that way when you're not cooking on the show? Oh, you have no idea. Oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on we the are. Road, no matter where we're at, nothing we are. changes. Uh oh. -uh. And yes, we giggle a lot. Even when we have gatherings and reunions and like Christmas or whatever, and we're cooking something that's not on camera, it's still the same. That's right. So we have this great recipe, and it's filled with yummy chicken and some other really good ingredients that make it so tasty and you're gonna love it, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with some butter in this pan, about four pats of butter. We got four chicken breasts. And so we're just gonna place our chicken breast in our skillet. And in here we have a little bit of salt and pepper we're going to season each side. And a little bit of Italian seasoning. About anything uh, fries up good with butter, don't it? It does. We love butter. We don't like margin. No, we don't use margin. We like uh -huh. the real deal. As Steve would say, it's always better with butter. Butter on butter. Yeah, he loves to put butter on butter. I'm just going to flip these really quick. And all we're going to do is quick brown on both sides of these. Just going to season this other side here. Some more salt and pepper. I always like to season the meat, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it brings out the flavor more than just putting it in the pot. Now, you don't have to brown these up. Um, I just like how it looks. And, taste when you do. If you have time, great. If you don't, that's okay. I've got that on like a medium high so, so it browns up pretty quick and then we're going to take it off the heat and put it in our crock pot and start adding our other ingredients. All right, let's check this, Sheila, and see what this looks like. Oh yeah, look at that. It does look good. So you cook this three to five minutes on each side? Yeah, about that. And it's going to continue to cook in the crock pot. So we pre-greased our crock pot with a little bit of olive oil. Now, if you've got liners that you'd rather use the liners, you're welcome to do that. Or, you know, you can use just non-stick non cooking spray or whatever. But we like to do that. It keeps everything from sticking to the sides. So, And what we're going to do, we got our chicken in here, and we're going to add a little bit of this minced garlic in here. And I'm going to do that. I love the flavor of garlic. I know. All right, so we're starting out here with a half a cup of our chicken broth and in here we have four tablespoons of lemon juice we're going to pour that right on into that then i have just a teaspoon of chicken bouillon and i like to add chicken flavor into all my chicken dishes just gives a little bit more flavor you don't have to but i really like the taste of it so we're just going to mix that together and then we're just going to pour this right on top of our chicken Right in here. You don't need a lot of liquid. My big hand in your way. There we go. We should be doing the left hand. Where's my, where's my left hander when we need her? Holding the camera. <laughs> Holding the camera. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is add the rest of our stick of butter. So we had four pats in our pan, and now I'm just going to place this butter right on around in the dish here. Then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley in here just a little you've had this crock pot a long time haven't you i have i have used the heck out of this crock pot yeah she was talking about it the other day about her um 
using this so much that the front end of it the writing is yeah. like disappearing off the bottom of it <laughs> where it used to say hamilton beach or whatever now it's, it doesn't you can't really read it at all but it's it's absolutely great and i have that link for this crock pot right below if you want to try it it's great because you can program it leave it it sets it to warm when you're done it's awesome so yeah all of mine's they got all the print and everything on it yeah i know because she hardly <laughs> uses hers i use mine all the time <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, we're going to put this on low and we're going to check it in about three hours and see how it's doing. And then we're going to add a little more stuff. So we've had this on for about three hours on low and you can see it looks really good and buttery and yummy. Mmm. Mm, good. Really good. Okay. So we're going to add, let's set this aside here. We've got one cup of just regular half and half. And then we've got a tablespoon of cornstarch and we're going to mix this in to this half and half. I'm just going to help us Let me get that out of there. Let me get all that out of there. She looks like, don't leave it. Don't leave nothing. <laughs> don't dump it in the floor. That's right. Don't dump it on the floor. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pour this right on top of that chicken. And we're going to make a nice creamy sauce. So we're going to let this cook for about 30 minutes to an hour. And then about 30 minutes before it's done, I'm going to add a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Forks up. All right. Let's try this. This looks so good. Yes. Yum. You ready? Let me get a hold of it. Get ready. a hold of it. Yeah. Ready? Mmm. 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 Mm. That is good. Right. Yeah, it is really good. All that lemon flavor. You could, it you could, is. It's really good. You could put it with anything. So whatever you'd like to eat this with, it'd be great. And it's simple crock pot recipe. You're gonna love it. And then people do ask also, have you ever came across a recipe or done one that you despised? And we did here a while back. Oh, we did. Yeah. It was like glue. I mean, it was just like stuck <laughs> in your mouth. It was like so awful. Mom called it dog food. <laughs> Oh, a dog wouldn't even eat it. A dog wouldn't even eat it. So I guess mean, we do have some doozies that we don't put on. Now, we do try these recipes out most of the time before we put them on the air. But but that one didn't quite make it, so we just oh, left that was, one out. It was yeah. so bad. It I even good. made a roast one time, and even a Siberian Husky wouldn't even eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but that was about, like, 30 years ago. Well, Steve used to make fun of her and said he didn't think meatloaf should glow in the dark. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, yeah. as Steve would say, is this the best creamy lemon chicken? If, if it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. All right, let's bite. eat. Mm-hmm, that's good. Well, that's she, she and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.